So guys, I'm just about to start filming our new video for YouTube and I've just come upstairs to look for Phil because we're doing a film. I can't see him anywhere. Have you seen him anywhere, Sam? No, I no. So I'm just going to look in the studio and see if I can see him, but I've lost him. So it might be just me today. Give me a minute. Right, okay. Uh, oh my God. Hold on a minute, guys. You've got to see what I've just witnessed. Just hold on. This, guys, is what I've just walked in to witness. <laughs> Phil flexing. No. Oh you sorry you were oh you were checking your glutes out. Okay, yeah, so he was just checking his booty out in the mirror. Yeah, that's just what I've just walked into. Which actually seamlessly takes us into what we're about to talk about today. Hi guys. Hello. You may have seen me doing a little bit of uh, glute posing in mirrors. Yeah, that was just an unfortunate thing to have to witness, but the victim of my own vanity, I suppose. Yeah, this is what happens. Um but today what we're going to do is we're going to run through the number one exercise for your glutes, which is the hip thrust, yeah. okay? Uh, there's loads and loads and loads of teaching points to the hip thrust. It's not just a matter of moving the weight from A to B. We want to make sure that you feel that movement as much in your glutes as possible and you're getting the most benefit out of the movement. So today the lovely Mel is going to I am the dummy. That's right. Okay. My so, turn. In the first thing in your box, yeah. okay, it wants to be about 14 to 18 inches in height. You're going to need a barbell with plates and uh, a thigh pad. Yeah, on preferably it. a barbell with these plates because oh, you want to lift the bar yeah. up. Yeah, you want the place to be easy, high enough so that you can just roll yeah. the bar onto these the These are perfect height really, nothing all small than Yeah, that. bumper plates are always going to be perfect. So what Mel's going to do to start with, she's going to just leave her feet out flat. She's going to rest her upper back just below the shoulder blades on the corner of the box, okay? Yeah. Then she's gonna roll the bar over so it hits, sits in like the crease of her hips. Yeah. Okay, she's gonna bend those feet. Okay, she's gonna lift those toes up so we're driving through his heels. Mm -hmm. Then from there, what she's gonna do, she's gonna extend, push the hips up towards the ceiling. Okay, we squeeze those glutes, hold it for a second, posterior tilt that pelvis, and then come down nice and slowly. Mel could do it on her feet a little bit further forwards. Just moving the smith forwards. Right, and go up from there again. And you can see it's a nice sort of like right angle from the ankle and the knee to the hip. Okay, and then back down. Yeah, just have a couple more of that. Big squeeze through those glutes, and tilt that pelvis. You want to keep that chin tucked throughout, keep those ribs down, okay, so prevent you arching through your back. So that's one of the main things that when it's done incorrectly, people feel the movement a lot in the lower back. Okay, so chin down, ribs down, posterior tilt that pelvis, drive through your heels, squeeze your glutes. And that's pretty much it. Good work, that Mel. Not bad. Thank you very much. That glutes like mine in no time at all. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, one thing I do notice with people, I see it in the gym, a lot of people with the heads way back like yeah, that, I think yeah, you yeah. see, don't you? And the foot position, like you said, getting yeah. that. I think if your feet are further away, you probably get more hamstrings. Too close, too close. What we're looking to hit is glutes, obviously. Yeah. So. so I try and take those muscles out of movement as much as possible. There's loads of different variations as well. Yes, totally. Just based off your basic hip thrust, you can get a band, wrap it around your knees, so you force to push your knees out against the band, yeah. recruit a bit more of that glute medius. Yeah, and also don't be scared to go quite heavy. I think most oh, yeah. people can go heavy on this. I mean, this is, this is light, really. Yeah. Most, you know, women are really particularly strong on this. You can get to 100 kilos easy. Yeah, no problem. So Absolutely yeah, no problem. don't be afraid to get heavy. It's a lot of benefit to your other lifts as well. Mm. So like any of your lower body training, with squats, deadlifts, lunges, you know, start putting these into the program and you'll find that your performance in those movements generally increase as well. Yeah, like I say, add some bands into it on your knees and stuff like that, just to make it even more intense. There's loads of things you can do with it, isn't there? Yeah. So yeah, have a go. Right guys, so that obviously what you've just seen there was me performing the hip thrust. We get asked about it by loads of people about how to perform in right and because there's loads of different things you can get wrong, we thought it was worth just going through it step by step. So yeah, have a go and let us know how you get on. But um, we've also wanted to let you know about our social post this week which will also be related to glute training, so watch out for that. Yeah, we're going to go through a few other uh, movements that are good for your glutes. That's just focusing on sort of like one plane of motion. There's another couple yeah. of planes of motion, you can take those glutes through, so I'm going to pop them on there. Yeah, so watch out for that on Mel and Phil present on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Also, we'll get, remember to add yourself to what I've got a mailing list now, we're sending yeah. out loads of stuff, so yeah. 
recipes, obviously links to these videos we're doing. Yeah. So if you want to be added to the mailing list, we don't send any spam out, we're just spending out decent content. Yeah, it's we? just all stuff that we think is going to benefit people with their own training, with their own health, you know, it's not just, there's training stuff on there, there's nutrition, yeah. stuff on supplements, stuff on mindset, that's just sort of scratching the surface with what we've done yeah. so far. It's all it? valuable if you're into health and fitness, it's all stuff you need. Yeah, we'd so. like to think so. Well, we hope so, don't we? We spend a hell of a lot of time on yeah. it, so yeah. So yeah, if you want to be added to the mailing list, just bother note in the comments below. Just give us your email address or private messages if you want to. Might we'll be watching. better to private messages rather yeah. than put your email into and a comment. And that's someone you might end up getting loads of spam then, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's uh, yeah. But that's it for today. Anything else you want to see in our technique series or anything we're doing, just yeah. let us know. Yeah. We'll, uh, Doesn't have to be technique, anything nutrition, you know, outlook wise, anything, basically just anything that you feel is something that you struggle with or you just like more help with or more knowledge with, okay, that's going to benefit your health and fitness goals at the end of the day. That's or if what you just want to see Phil do something funny again. Because yeah. to be honest, HMS Belfast has lived, <laughs> has kept me going this week. So really, anything you fancy seeing in a role play, you know, we're up for it. Well. Well. <laughs> okay, I'll do well. it. Should we do a retake this? No, that'll do that. That'll do Thanks, guys. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you. See you next week. See you next week. <laughs>